Hi friends, welcome to Victor's Reality. In today's video, we'll be going over temperatures with the Aorus RTX 2080 Extreme Graphics Card at the horizontal position. Now, the exhaust fans, I'll show you right here. I have it with the colors. White at 62C, green at 69C, and red at 75C. We never want to go over 75C. I mean, I never go over 69C, but um, 70C, but... Your miles may vary. I just put this for reference. 62 would be cold or cool. 69 would be green. And then 75 would be red. Uh, anything, you know, just give or take one temperature. That's why I kept it at 69 instead of 70 because the temperatures, you know, they vary from one, one or two degrees. So 70, 76, that's just too close to 80. Never at 80. We don't want to go to 80. And then 62 for the for the white color so you'll be able to see with the videos coming up if it's white green or red more or less where the temperatures are at in case you don't look at the temperature reading on the screen so first we'll start off with 60 percent fan profile and we'll leave it for 30 minutes then we'll go to the 80 percent fan profile leave it for 30 minutes and then we'll go to a hundred percent fan profile and leave it for 30 minutes so you could see you know with a hot with a warm card so you can see realistic temperatures also at the end I'll overclock it plus 60 and plus I believe 730 and then you'll be able to see those temperatures then I'll add two small little fans these right here that one right there and that one over there to help cool the GPU so you guys can see more or less how much effect that does. Uh, let you. I won't tell you the the temperature degrees. You'll be able to see. So you can watch the whole video. Um, but it's it it does help. So enjoy. Now remember, I'm not a professional. I'm just trying to do something here that everyone else can do, and anything that helps us cool our graphics cards. These are easy, this is, it's an easy fix. And this is a real world with this case. I didn't want to do the video without the side panel because that's not realistic for everyone else watching. Everyone has a side panel. And when they show their off the graphics card, it's either in a case or, you know, it's under the desk, but it's always with a panel on. So the majority of the people have it with the panel on, so I might as well test it with the panel on. <laughs>
little fans right here it needs to get air in that middle one that's the problem fan that's the, the fan that the smallest and it cools the least so it needs help so with these fans just blowing some direct since these are smaller they're more direct I, you put you, if you put your hand in front of it it's more direct air compared to the bigger one so it goes directly into the middle one and it cools again this PC is an air cooled PC I didn't want to go with any kind of uh, other kind of uh, cooling I just wanted to go air gave it a mechanical look like Robocop so it's like okay more mechanical CPU cooler that's it running at 50% um, and these are just the exhaust fans and the back is open so it's just no push through air just with these little fans the CPU fan is just you know blowing the fair uh, blowing the, the air in to these fans to exhaust And the GPU is just using natural air. You know, it's it's sucking the air from the from the uh, the opening. That's why if we put those small little fans, it'll help cool that middle fan. If that fan was bigger in the middle, then we wouldn't need these two little ones. It dropped it down three to five C, as you can see in the video. So, but that's at a hundred percent.